Within two weeks, all of that behind me is gonna change. We're gonna do about a 185 foot stream. There's some little pools, there's some patios, there's bridges, waterfalls with 25,000 gallons of water per hour. There's calling for maybe a little bit of snow. There's definitely rain throughout the day. Maybe you can tell there's some gusts of wind. <laughs> Truck's over. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Brian with Team Aquascape. I am back out in Idaho seven months ago or so. Jack Harju from Atlantis Water Gardens and I came out here. We did a really cool design uh, working with Colin. We're gonna take you through the entire process of this project. Within two weeks, all of that behind me is gonna change. So we're gonna revamp this entire area. I'm gonna go downstairs, show you the drawing. The reservoir is already installed. In fact, Colin put that reservoir in all by himself. There's something like 5,000 gallons of water down there. We're gonna do about a 100 foot long stream that twists and turns. There's some little pools, there's some patios, there's bridges, waterfalls with 25,000 gallons of water per hour coming over it. So it's gonna be cool and all of this is gonna happen in a two week period. All right, so here's the layout. We have a poundless waterfall system going in. You can see this corner right there, 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 and there kind of lay out the reservoir that went down that 5,000 gallon reservoir. We're gonna come in right over the top with the stream, doing some bib liners, some rock work, adding soil to make it look more like a stream, not just a big giant tank. Then we're gonna move upstream We'll get some Babley Brook waterfalls in through here. We may, we drew in some logs and stuff, may or, may or may not incorporate some logs back in through here. We've got some little plunge pools kind of throughout. When I say plunge pools, stuff that might be like 15 to 18 inches. This one might get down to like 24 inches. We'll just see. Then we come into here and this is gonna be more of like a 15 to 18 inch deep pond that wraps around a fire pit uh, patio space here with a cool little bridge going over the top. And then we have our massive waterfalls coming down into what's gonna be about a 24, 26 foot long pond uh, by about 16 feet wide with some stepping stones and stair steps that lead to a pathway to another small patio with a pathway that comes back down to this. So you can do the kind of this loop all the way around. Our goal in the next two weeks is to get basically everything in blue and brown done and then most importantly get this thing running so this gives you a little bit more perspective on what we're doing you can see colon down here with a couple of his helpers uh they've got that reservoir in those were those four corners i was talking about and then the flags kind of roughly outline where this stream is going to go but you can see when we're outside how massive the project actually is and we kind of snake up this way go all the way back into here and all the way up by that excavator is where the waterfalls and stuff are going to start. We're going to split out. I'm with the one and only Ralph Bezad from Aquascape AZ. It's actually Pondscape. Pondscape AZ. <laughs> he, he wanted it to be Aquascape AZ, and that was taken. Yeah, it was already <laughs> taken. <Yeah. laughs> it's Jack Harju. We've done a bunch of these projects together. Yeah. Uh, we're going to come out here. We're going to team up. Uh, the two of us, I think, are going to start excavating out some of the stream. Ralph's going to work with Colin, start dropping some rocks. You can see they're already busy. We're all a little terrified about how car hard Colin's gonna work us. This is an indicator. Yeah. <laughs> That's how hard. That's how hard. setting the footing for our wall that's gonna hold back that fire pit patio over here. So what we usually do is dig down about foot, a foot, eight inches or so, just so we can get some gravel in there. The gravel will put a base material down on top of the liner, and then we can come in here and set our uh, retain wall. The other reason we dig this down is it allows us to adjust the height of that wall so we can get that patio height exactly at where we want it. And of course, as we're doing this, it starts snowing. back into the waterfall over there but uh there was a giant boulder and that boulder was messing up water level bad we could have gone over it but it would have left that waterfall right back over there with only a 
two to three inch drop. Uh, when they worked on that, Ralph and I did work on some rock work way down over there, over the top of uh, our aqua blocks. You're probably wondering what's going on here. We've unfolded a 60 by 30 foot liner and we're about 15 feet short. We need a 45 by 60. This is gonna go underneath that patio space, that whole big like interactive kid play area. And so we've just cut off a 15 by 30 here. What you're noticing though is we're not coming right to the corner here. We're not going to that corner there. This is strategically placed right where that patio is gonna be sitting. Put these boards underneath. It'll give us a nice flat, hard, rigid surface to work that seam on. We're gonna come in first with a four, uh, it's like a three inch seam tape. Then we're gonna come over the top with a, I think it's a six inch cover tape. Put our seam tape down first, then come right back over the top with cover tape, then get a bunch of hands because unrolling this, uh, this was a hundred foot by 30 foot roll and the two of us about passed out, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> There we go, the seam is done. So we gotta get this thing folded up, pulled back over there, and I will get this installed. working on the bridge, doing just a fine job with all of his cuts, getting these to notch right around these boulders. So the bridge area is almost done. You can see our base material is in. For our patio that goes in, we decided to do a seat wall back over here that just kind of complements the wall on the pond side. Um, getting this all framed out, and then we ended up doing a couple stone steps back over here. Now the stone steps have been really tricky because nothing's really flat, but turning out pretty good. And we'll come back in here, drop another big guy up over here. We're gonna end up backfilling this with some soil. We might even carve this pool out to bring it closer to this seat wall. It's coming together. here and as we started putting all of this stuff together over here we just realized we were losing our shape and so now Jack can come in here dig all of this back out this will give this stream much more of a twist in here and then put that stuff way more into a cove otherwise when we started rocking this in it was gonna start looking really really straight especially because the way this all came together over here Seven degrees. They're calling for maybe a little bit of snow. There's definitely rain throughout the day. And you can tell, there's some gusts of wind, uh, anywhere from 25 to 40 miles per hour. Hey, if it were easy, everybody would do it. We're still gonna have fun out here. We've got a lot done. Here's a little progress on what we've got done so far. If you can remember, we can refer back to that drawing. This is that fire pit space. Right in here, we've got the bridge laid in. Poland did an incredible job describing the bridge around the boulders. It just looks so nice. Uh, this is gonna be set up for a concrete pad to sit over the top. They're gonna do a stamped concrete pad right over this with a slight cantilever past our walls. This is that big shallow pool that comes in through here. It's about 10, 12 inches deep over in there, about six, eight inches deep in through here, six, eight inches deep 
drive it through there and then get down about 12, 15 inches over in that space there. Today's focus is gonna be finishing this part of the stream, getting this waterfall done. We want this like finished, finished from here and through here. That means edges and everything, gravel on the bottom, fabric cut away, uh, folds seam down. Ralph and I are gonna handle a lot of those um, detail things as Jack then moves later, probably after lunchtime, up into here, that bigger waterfall space up in there, and starts excavating that out and getting that set up for fabric and liner. short up in that space over there. We can't seam today because it's just way too windy. The amount of dust that's flying around in this place, it's literally impossible to seam stuff. So we moved over to this area here. We worked a lot on these stepping stones the other day. The stepping stones turned out beautiful. Absolutely love them. We came in, we started finishing them off, dropping in some big frame rocks. We even got a tree up in here. So we're doing these uh, recycled timbers back up in there. Love the way this thing's turning out. The idea is always twisting and turning pathways. The last step we just said came to see it. And there'll be two more that you can't see kind of coming up in this way here. So we've got uh, two more steps to do. And this gets buttoned up. All of this soil up in here is gonna get pushed and all the way, well, or tapered that way. So we've got a lot of dirt moving to do. And uh, then we'll get this all buttoned up. I'm loving the way this is turning out. Oh, look at the trees out there. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Whew, that was a hard first week. Uh, we got an enormous amount done though. I'm so happy with our progress. But as I look downstream and see that we've only got another five days to finish a hundred feet of stream, uh, it's gonna be an epic endeavor. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for watching the first part of this video. We're gonna wrap everything up on the next video. 
You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys at the next video.